different. Oh, wow. We got cops up ahead. Hold up. Yes, yes. Hi, law-abiding citizen coming through. Hi, yeah. How you doing? How you... Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Dave. May the Schwartz be with you. Today, we're going to go over a 2019 gift guide for Christmas. Now, we got 12 days left, and if you're anything like me, <laughs> you haven't even started. That's all right. Ain't no minute like the last minute. No judgment here. Quick wristwatch check for my guys out there. We're doing the Daytona Parnas. I got this on the Dan Henry leather strap. You can check that video out up here. Basically, um, I'm just going to go over a couple different ideas. I saw one guy's video and he was talking about like $200 or $300 gift range. I mean, yeah, I guess if you want. Um, I think most gifts are reasonable under 100 bucks, And I tried to keep most of these under 50 because I don't know, you know, if you're buying for a lot of people, um, you know, what, what your limits are. So I just wanted to kind of have something that would appeal to a more wider range of budgets. So anyway, let's get into it. So if you're buying for someone that likes food, I got a couple of quick little ideas here. These are all relatively inexpensive. So we're looking at Taza uh, Mexican chocolate. These are actually really good. And the sampler gives a little bit of everything. So you can see here, you got like some chile flavored chocolates, um, you know, vanilla, coffee, cinnamon. So, so it's made here in America, but it definitely has that um, Mexican chocolate style. Uh, next thing we'll, I'll recommend is the Torchbearer sauces. So they have this little three pack, which is kind of cool. Uh, if you've seen Hot Ones, you'll notice these are featured in that series. So they have a little three pack. If you got someone that's big into making, you know, wings or they just like hot sauces on their um, tacos and stuff like that, I definitely recommend this pack. Uh, this other one here is the Stonewall Kitchen Grill Sauces. So if you got a guy that likes to grill, this is definitely something to consider. They have two packs. So I took a picture of this one here, but they also have one with some other flavors. So you kind of have some options. For me, this is probably the safer bet that's gonna kind of reach a more uh, wider range of different flavors that they can use when they're grilling, but definitely something to consider and not too expensive. Next up, gifts for guys that like to drink. So if you got a, a guy that you're buying for that drinks a lot of beer, I really recommend these Teku glasses. They are, it's kind of like if they're into big into drinking, um, getting the full flavors, you know, all the aromatics out of their beer, this is something that you would want to get for them. They may not even know about this glass. I just recently found out about these maybe a year or so ago. They're really cool. They do make a difference, kind of that tulip shaped glass in the rim. It just really brings everything up to your nose when you're drinking. This would be good for a guy that likes to really enjoy his beers. So you may not know about this. It's a Glen Cairn glass and these are really good for Scotch whiskey. Uh, kind of similar tulip shape, you know, brings all those aromatic and um, notes to the nose as you're taking a sip so you can really enjoy everything that those whiskeys have to offer uh, but this is a must for any guy that's really big into getting the most out of their whiskey and their scotch speaking of scotch uh, two that I would recommend under 40 bucks Glen Morangy really good whiskey um, single malt scotch and it's a highland so really really nice um, this is a good starter scotch it's a 10 year so a lot of notes in it for being a 10 year. And if you know someone that is looking to try scotch or they maybe tried it and didn't like it because it's too smoky or peaty, this is one to get them started on. It's much lighter and brighter, really great scotch. I have a bottle of this pretty much all the time. If I run out, I go out and get another one. The other bottle I almost always have and always give as a gift is Monkey Shoulder. You can get these under 40 bucks as well. Sometimes you can get them as low as 25 bucks. So very inexpensive, but this is a blended malt uh, scotch whiskey. And basically you're looking at three different distilleries that this is coming from. Glenfiddich, Balvenie, and Kinnanvi. And those are going to be really good, um, again, kind of lighter and brighter. There's not a really heavy peat or a really heavy smoke flavor in this whiskey. So something that isn't going to be off-putting. Most guys that drink are gonna enjoy and appreciate monkey shoulder, can't go wrong. Let's go over to gifts for the car guy, all right. This is a must. I got spoiled with the heated and cooling seats that are in the Lexus, and I ended up getting this for the Volvo. Works pretty well. Um, basically, it takes the AC that's being already blown in your car and then vents it through the cushion. So it goes all the way up to like your upper back and then it, it really works well on your thighs, 
Um, keeping your butt crack from getting all sweaty. <laughs> so if you know a guy that sweats a lot, trust me, this is the gift for him. Um, this It's a little noisy, but it's good. I like it. I've been using it. It hasn't gone out. I haven't had any issues or anything like that. Um, it does not create cold air. So don't think that just because if your AC doesn't work in your car that this cooling seat's going to work. It's just taking the air that's already in the cabin and venting it through the seat. So don't be, I don't want to send the wrong idea there. Another great idea is the Covercraft custom sunscreens. These things are cut to fit the particular year make and model you're shopping for. They range in price. This one here is 54 bucks, but you can sometimes get them a little bit less. It might be a little bit more. It just depends, but you can put in the year make and model and it'll direct you to the right sunscreen for you and hopefully you can get a good rate on them. Now, an umbrella, even though this isn't really for a car per se, this is something that you always want to have in your car and a lot of guys don't. It's a good gift, one of those like they don't think about it but you did and then they'll always leave it in their car and they're gonna be glad they have it when they need it. Oh boy, gifts for the watch guy. You, you knew this one was coming. I have the four watch winder from Chioda and I really like it. I've had a little bit of time to kind of see what it's all about and I really do enjoy it. And so I'm going to at list one because just because I have experience with it. So I don't want to you know link things that I haven't used myself or at least you know from the same brand. And so I think confidently it's got it really good ratings. I mean, we've got 1600 ratings of this thing with four stars. So pretty good right there. Um, and this is a single box. So if you know someone that has an automatic watch, this would be a great gift for them. And it's one of those things that like, they may not buy for themselves, but it would be great to get as a gift. Polishing cloths, you've seen me mention these in my other videos too. So these really help with keeping your watches look at their brightest and you'd be surprised you know, with stainless steel, how it doesn't necessarily tarnish, but it, it just, it loses its um, reflectiveness. And so these polishing cloths do a great job of bringing back their luster and shine. So a must have if you wanna keep them watches looking great. Now, this one here, I bought my Timex Fairfield really cheap. I got it for, I wanna say like 28 bucks. Um, so the price kind of fluctuates, but as of right now, they're about 46 bucks on Amazon. So we're staying under that $50 range. And then if you want, you can toss in a little uh, six pack of NATO straps that'll fit. So 20, 20 millimeter is the band width on these. So just make sure if you're gonna get a set of these NATO straps that you keep them at 20 mil um, for that particular watch. And then something, another thing, one of those like guys that have watches may or may not have, they haven't bought for themselves, but would be a great gift is a watch repair toolkit because you're always taking links off, changing straps, opening case backs, doing all sorts of different things. And this is the kit you need. There's different brands, different kinds, but this is one that's reasonably priced. All right, gifts for the minimalist. This is gonna be more like people that want to keep things streamlined. Um, so for guys that don't like a bifold or trifold wallet, this is the one that I have. I was actually surprised. I think I spent more than 10 bucks on mine, but it's $7, isn't that crazy? Um, <laughs> even at full price, regular price, 10 bucks, like it, just, it can't be beat. So a really good wallet, I enjoy it. I still have it, stitching hasn't come off or anything. It's still holding up fine. And I bought mine, I wanna say over a year or two ago. So something I can recommend for cheap, great little stocking stuffer. And then key ring. This one is by Rich Bud. Um, I have it in kind of a natural leather color, which I didn't see. They only have it brown, orange, and red. But basically, it's a vegetable tan leather. It Mine's already developed a really nice patina. The brass finishing has worn off a little on the little buttons and the clip. Um, so just something to be you know, aware of that it is going to lose that coating um, just from regular use all the time great gift for under 20 bucks. All right, gifts for the gun guy. These are what I recommend for someone that's either been shooting for a while or new to shooting. Electronic earmuffs are really good because they allow you to talk and hear in a normal kind of volume. And then as soon as there's certain gunfire or noises over a certain decibel limit, it cancels the sound out. And normally they're way more expensive. These things are usually like 50 to $60. And right now on Amazon, we've got them at 36 bucks, which is crazy. So I paid more than that. If you can snag a pair of these for under 40, do it. Um, great gift. 
And then of course a case, if you want to get them, you know, that extra finishing touch, you can get them a case made just for it. They can keep their wires, extra batteries, everything in there as well. Keep them from getting damaged. Dry fire training cards are really good for practicing at home, save money because they don't have to shoot ammo. And it gives them different scenarios and things to really understand how to use their firearm in different situations and become more familiar with it. So if it's someone that is serious about training with their gun, these are a must and a great gift. Again, something they may not buy for themselves, but as a gift would be awesome. All right, so finally we got gifts for the yard guy. And most guys, if you have, you know, if they're a homeowner, um, chances are they are going to use these or need these um, at some point in time. The Flexzilla garden hose I like because it doesn't kink up and it's really, uh, it's just easy to deal with. Uh, some of the other garden hoses out there are super stiff and they're kind of like a pain this one I really like. I've had it for a couple of years and it's doing fine. Quick connectors are a must for any guy that hates having, I mean, for me, it's like if it's easier, if it's going to make my life easier, I'm all about it. So these are aluminum and plastic and they hold up at hard water. They do get a little bit of kind of mineral like buildup on them. So just keep that in mind if they have hard water in their area. But I, I have these on all my spigots, pretty much all my hoses my pressure washer, everything has quick connectors on it. It just makes it simple on and off. You don't have to sit there twisting stuff. Definitely recommend these, highly recommend them. And they're like one of those things that most guys are probably like, ah, it's a little expensive for what it is, but as a gift, they would love it. Another thing is a hose bib lock. <laughs> this is for those paranoid homeowners. You never know, man. Some punk teenager comes through your neighborhood and turns on your water hose while you're out of town or something crazy. This is just peace of mind something you wouldn't really think about getting yourself. Um, I got these because when we built our house, there was like rumors of painters and other workers going around like hooking up to people's hoses and filling up their tanks and stuff. And it's like, what? Great gift for something that a guy, you know, front, if they have a spigot in the front yard, they probably weren't thinking about. Check it out. And then finally, the Nelson traveling rain train. Oh my gosh, this sprinkler is amazing. If you have a, a guy that you're getting a gift for and they do not have like their own irrigation sprinkler system, this is gonna save them so much time and effort. You basically set it and it travels along the hose and it waters as it moves. It moves super slow and it'll put out a lot of water. I've been able to basically put out like an inch of what would be the equivalent of an inch of rain once a week and I tested it out and like I was only watering literally once a week in July and August, the hottest months, and it, it, this thing worked amazing. So something to consider. Hope you guys like this video. Um, I really appreciate you checking out my channel. Make sure you subscribe, give this a thumbs up so other guys can see it before Christmas arrives, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.